Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to prove that the sum of this infinite series that involves these fractions, as you can see in this figure, is equal to 2. So let's get started with the proof and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on the left hand side over here. Let me just write down the left hand side we are going to focus on. And here I have copied down the left hand side as you can see over here. And now let's focus on the denominator of these sum of the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 and plus goes and on and on. Now let's recall the sum of the series formula and if we have a series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to n then this could be written as n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Then we can write our this infinite series as in a infinite sum as a sigma we can write this notation sigma goes from 1 to infinity this is called infinite sum of 1 divided by n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and here this mathematical symbol is called sigma and sigma means sum the addition and now this could be written as sigma n goes from 1 to infinity and here I can write this one as by using this formula I can write 2 divided by n times n plus 1 and here in this next step I brought this 2 outside so we can write sigma n goes from 1 to infinity 1 over n times n plus 1 and now let's focus on this fraction 1 over n times n plus 1 and here I have copied down this fraction over here on the right hand side and now let me show you a simple way to manipulate this fraction to put it into two simple fractions by using partial fraction decomposition method and if you don't know the partial fraction decomposition let me go over it pretty quick let me show you how we're going to do it and the very first thing is let's focus on the denominator and we can see we have a two factors these are called linear factors since we have a two linear factors so I can write into two fractions I can write a over the first factor is n plus b over the second factor is n plus 1 and now we will find the value of a and b so that is our next task and by the way if you want to learn more about partial fractions decomposition I have already uploaded many many videos in my YouTube channel please check them out in my playlist in pre-math channel and here's our next step let's focus on the denominator on the left hand side whatever this quantity is we are going to multiply on both sides I'm going to multiply n times n plus 1 on this one n times n plus 1 over here and n times n plus 1 over here across the board so we can see that this whole thing cancels out with this one so we ended up with just one on the left hand side here n and n is gone so we ended up with a times n plus one plus this n plus one cancels out with this n plus one so we got b times n and here's our next step let's focus on these two factors at the denominator on the left hand side I can equate them equal to 0 I can write n equal to 0 and likewise n plus 1 equal to 0 so we got n equal to 0 over here and here n plus 1 equal to 0 means n equal to negative 1 so we got two values one is n equal to 0 and here we got n equals to negative 1 and moreover let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one 
And here's our next step. Let's pick this n equal to zero value. So I can put uh, n equal to zero value in our this equation number one. So wherever we see n, I am going to replace it by zero. Here I'm going to replace it by zero. So this equation number one is going to become simply one equal to a times zero plus one is one. So that's going to be a plus b times zero is simply zero. So that means our a value turns out to be one. And now we are going to pick another value of n which is negative one and we are going to put in an equation number one. So equation one is going to become when our we are replacing n by negative one and here negative one. So this negative one plus one is going to become zero. So this could be written as one equal to this becomes zero time a becomes zero plus this becomes simply b times negative one. So that means our b value is going to be simply negative one. So thus our this a value turns out to be one and this b value turns out to be negative one. So therefore this whole thing could be written as one over n plus negative one over n plus one. And this is called our partial fraction decomposition. So therefore we can write this fraction one over n times n plus one as a partial fraction decomposition as one over n plus negative one over n plus one. And in this next step I have replaced this fraction into its partial fraction decomposition. Now in this next step let's go ahead and expand this series by plugging in n from one through infinity. So I can write this one two outside and inside the bracket. Let's take care of this one, one over n. So this could be written as one over one plus one over two plus one over three. And this goes on over and over. And now let's focus on this part over here and if we do like this one so this could be written as negative one over two and then the next one is going to be negative one over three and then negative one over four and minus goes on and on and now we can see this positive one over two and this negative one over two is gone positive one over three negative one over three is gone the next is going to be a one over four this one and negative one over four is gone and everything just cancels out except this one over one. So thus we got two times one which is equal to two and two is our right hand side. And by the way this kind of series is called telescoping series that means it just simply collapses. So thus we have proven that the left hand side equals to right hand side. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.